Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, octahedron and uh, truncated octahedron. So you can see two objects here, left side that is uh, octahedron and right side that is a uh, truncated octahedron. So first uh, let us take a uh, octahedron. In this octahedron, octa is uh, indicating eight and this eight is indicating faces, number of faces. So octahedron has a uh, eight faces. And let us take three parameters like corners, edges and faces in a octahedron first. And if you see a regular octahedron, totally there are six corners. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And you can see this octahedron has a square like this and one pyramid above the square, another pyramid below the square. Hence, this octahedron is also known as a square by pyramid. So, this octahedron has a totally six corners. It has a six corners. Now, let us take a, the number of edges. Number of edges in a regular octahedron. Totally, there are 12 edges. You can see this is the first one, second, third, fourth one, fifth, sixth, 7th, 8th, 9th one, 10th, 11 and 12. So totally there are 12 edges in a regular octahedron. Now let us find the number of faces. So totally there are 8 faces and each face is a triangular that can be seen like this. So here this is a one triangular face. So totally there are 8 triangular faces. So this is the first one, second triangular face, third one and fourth one. Similarly, here you have a four. This is a one, two, three and four. So here four triangular faces here, four triangular faces here. Totally there are eight triangular faces. So these are the parameters in a regular uh, octahedron. Now let us find the same parameters in truncated octahedron. So truncated octahedron is produced due to cutting of regular octahedron through the corners. So totally there are six corners. If you cut this regular octahedron through the corners, you are going to get a truncated octahedron from regular octahedron. In order to find the parameters in truncated octahedron, one key point you have to know that is each corner of regular octahedron is connecting to four edges and this will be very much helpful in finding number of corners, edges and faces uh, in truncated octahedron. So if you see a regular octahedron, each corner every corner you take there are uh, six corners each corner is connected to four edges each corner is connected to four edges as a result after truncation after truncation at each corner of regular octahedron you will be getting what we call a square face so due to truncation here you will be getting a square face so totally there are six corners and there will be uh, six square faces. Now let us find the number of corners in truncated octahedron. So in order to find the number of uh, corners in truncated octahedron, truncated octahedron, what you have to do is you take a newly generated face. Newly generated face is this one. And that newly generated face has four corners. And uh, here, newly generated face has uh, four corners. And six such faces are produced. Therefore, six into four, that is uh, 24 corners. So the number of corners in truncated octahedron, you will be getting a uh, 24. So, each square face contains four corners. Six such faces are produced 
due to truncation so 6 into 4 uh, that is a 24 so the number of corners in truncated octahedron will be 24 now let us find uh, the number of edges and if you see uh, whatever the original edge you had in regular octahedron that will be retained you can see this edge that will be retained this edge that is also retained and here this edge so all those edges are retained but you are going to get some new edges you are going to get some new edges so in order to find the number of edges in truncated octahedron so 12 are the edges actually present in regular octahedron plus number of newly generated edges newly generated edges are present in a square face you can see that a square face has four edges and uh, such square faces are a six therefore that is a six into four so that is a 24 are newly generated edges 12 are ori original edges totally there will be 36 edges so here these are uh, 12 edges originally present and these are newly generated edges therefore you are going to have 36 edges in truncated octahedron now let us find the number of faces in truncated octahedron and due to truncation you can see due to truncation here whatever the triangular face you had that triangular face is becoming hexagonal face like this due to truncation so like this the triangular face is converted to hexagonal face triangular face is converted to hexagonal face and uh, such a triangular faces number you already know eight triangular faces each triangular face is becoming hexagonal faces hence in truncated octahedron eight faces are hexagonal which are produced due to truncation which are actually converted from triangular face plus newly generated face that newly generated face is square face six such square faces so eight plus six that is equal to 14 and totally there are 14 uh, faces eight are hexagonal faces and six are uh, square faces and these are the parameters so here if you take a regular octahedron number of corners 6 edges 12 faces 8 and truncated octahedron corners 24 edges 36 and faces 14 and uh, those faces uh, 8 are hexagonal and uh, 6 are square faces but uh, this is the formula but instead of using the formula always you have to calculate through the concept and visualization thank you thank you very much